in the previous video we learned how to create a custom categories page and in this video we're going to learn how to create a custom category single page so I'll tell you what I mean so remember in the previous video we had uh, created this custom page uh, to display all the categories which when clicked it takes you to a separate page where it will list down all the products related to only that particular category which is what is happening currently is if I click on women then it will show me all the products uh, related to women uh, category right uh, but the only thing is that this is uh, coming by WooCommerce and I don't have any choice to uh, you know customize this for example if my client wants these things in a different fashion then I can't really do that so how do I do that so let's first of all understand where this code is actually coming from so if you go on to to the WooCommerce plugins so plugins then WooCommerce inside of that you go to templates and then go to archive product.php so this is the place where it's actually coming from and to test this that that's actually true what we're going to do is we'll just come over here say wp die and just save it go back refresh the page and sure enough we don't have anything after this because we've done wp die after getting the header so the best thing uh, it talks about this template can be overridden uh, overridden by copying it to your theme woocommerce archive product.php so let's go ahead and create the same page for our theme as well. I'm going to co just copy the whole thing, close it, and I'll come back to my theme uh, 2017, a root directory, and I will create a page called archive, archive product. PHP. Now if I go back and check, I should not get anything over here. No, there's something wrong. Let me check. It should be... I think the spelling might be incorrect. Let me just check. WooCommerce templates. Okay, it's archive. There's no E at the end. Okay. So let's rename it. So there is no E refactor. Go back, refresh. Sure enough, you can see there's nothing. And to test it, that the, actually it's coming from here. I'll just echo test. Refresh. Sure enough, you can see test. So in order for me to modify this, the first thing I'm going to do is just first copy paste the whole thing okay and I'm gonna go ahead and get the header of my own theme rather than header shop so get header okay and at the bottom I'll say get footer okay okay brilliant so you can see I've got get header get footer and then I have got the all the content being shown out by that page. Now let's say I want to change this content. I want to go ahead and design this part because generally this would can be designed by uh, CSS. But if I want to change the structure of this, how do we do that? So we'll go over here and see that we have WC template part content, and this is the loop that is being run uh, to be able to you know uh, display the content of the uh, products. So, so if I get rid of this, if I just comment this out, if I refresh the page, you can see all the products are gone. So, so that is the code basically responsible for displaying all the products, a WC get template part. So in the loop, I will have the title available. Okay, you can see I've got all the top one, top two, top three. I will have the permalink available. So you can see you've got the permalinks as well. I should have the thumbnail, the post thumbnail. So remember, this is what we've used in the, our previous videos to get what we needed. So you can see you've got the images as well. Brilliant. So I think all we have all we need. Um, all we can do is just take a structure of what we used into our previous videos into our 
product shop. Okay, so I think this is where we. Mm, okay, let's see. Yep, yeah, this was the one correct. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this div class container and uh, okay so I'll just this is the loop starting point so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, close the PSP, PHP tag over here and just paste it and similarly this is where the loop ends so this is where the loop starts this is where the loop ends so I might have to take it on top of this Okay, so let's put it there. Okay, and similarly, I have to obviously close this. So let me close this. And this is where the loop ends, so I'm just going to go over here and get rid of this, align it properly. Okay, and I'm just going to close this, so I'm just going to copy this. Paste it. I hope you do understand what's going on here. If you've watched the previous video, if you haven't, I must say please do. Okay, uh, so right now we are putting this inside of a container and row, and then we need to go ahead and create a div over here as well. So again, I will close the PHP tag and reopen it and align this properly and this is a place where I will say uh, div with the column of md let's say 4 and over here I will say uh, first I want to get the image so I will put that in a div and I will say image source will be the post thumbnail in fact just copy this part default image and image from here okay so we'll put that there okay so we'll just copy image I'm just doing the same thing which I've done in the previous videos to save time I'll just echo this image so what's happening over here is that uh, in case if the image is not available then it's gonna get the default image from the database if I just refresh I should be able to get the images so you can see now we have got the images I think I missed onto something what have I missed? Okay, something here. Okay, I think this part. Okay, okay, right. So this will be actually get site URL and this will be this. No, actually this is correct. and this will not go into source this will just be echo image because it's going to display the image anyways echo image okay let's refresh sure enough we've got all the images okay I think uh, the structure of it is is not being proper. We'll have to find out why. Let's have a look. What's going on here? 
So this is fine. But I can see there is a UL class being applied over here and that is what is causing the problem. If I get rid of this UL, okay, no, I can't. So this UL is creating problem. Let me fix that. Okay, guys, so UL was coming from this function WooCommerce product loop ends and WooCommerce product loop starts. So we'll we just commented that out, um, and if, now if we check, now it's properly structured. Obviously, we can take this down also. Uh, so we can just go ahead and go over here, and uh, we can just write that margin top is equal to 100 pixels. So it's come properly. I'm just gonna do that over here. I know we can't. We shouldn't write the inline style but just to save time I'm just writing it here so margin top how much was that 100 pixels okay now if we go and check sure enough we've got it perfect fine okay we also need to display the um, title so we're gonna do that as well I think we can just copy everything from here we don't really need to type all of that so let's just copy that okay I've explained all of this in the previous videos so you can always go back and check so I'm going to paste this here and obviously we need the ID as well so I'll just paste it here So what's going on over here guys uh, is basically I'm getting the permalink because this is the loop while I have post the post. So I have the permalink av available for this particular product. I have the image which I've got. I'm getting the, I'm checking if the image is available uh, which means if the user has selected an image for the product then show that otherwise get me the default image. I'm displaying the title and which is wrapped within the link which takes me to that particular uh, product page. I'm also using do short code. Uh, this is the WooCommerce provides us with the uh, short code uh, wherein we have just have to pass the ID and we have the ID available in the loop and this will display the link uh, for add to cart. So if I now refresh the page, sure enough you can see that I've got the name, I've got the add to cart option and I've got all the information I need. And the best part is that because we have included most of the codes from the uh, archive product.php off WooCommerce we also have these functionalities available and we don't have to uh, do them manually but in case if you do have to put them manually you can always take help from the product shop.php that we had created in the previous video where we had customized these things okay so now if you go and check if you select low to high price you will have 13 3000 3500 if you select it to high to low you have the 3500 3000 and 1300 so you've got all the information has been customized uh, you know you can get rid of the uh, sidebars and all you know you can just do comment this out get rid of the sidebar I think that's not the one responsible for the sidebar there could be something else okay anyways um, so basically you can play around with this and, and get things going according to the way you want them but basically Mostly people would want to change the structure of the products which I've explained to you how to do that. You know, you can wrap them in the container and the row and then make changes there. So you, now all of these codes are available to you which wasn't already. Uh, so now you can make changes to this and just add to cart. You have view cart which takes you to the cart page and all of that stuff, right? Brilliant. So I think that's all been sorted. Uh, I hope you did like the video series. Uh, I'll should be adding more videos in future but i think for today it's fine it's already like 3 46 a.m in the morning um, so i've been making this video since almost 12 o'clock so uh so i hope you did like the video and if if you did please do subscribe to my channel uh, just like recap we discussed and uh, learned how to create custom pages for displaying all the products uh, how to display them with the categories how to display, uh, how to use these filters and create our own custom ones, how to create the product categories and uh, when you click on them, how to create a custom uh, pages for this particular category as well. Okay, brilliant then. See you, see you then. Take care guys. Bye-bye.